Okay, so in this video, we're gonna to put together our Rudolph ornament and Rudolph's main body is composed of these two segments here. And then we have little panels that we're gonna put over it to smooth it out, to give it a nice smooth appearance. So first things first, you wanna go ahead and begin by folding everything at the score marks just to get everything moving and grooving here. And once we've done that, we're gonna join these two pieces together. So because this is, these three sections are already together, saves us a little bit of gluing. Still a little bit, but not too bad. So just go through and crease everything at the score marks. That's gonna make for a much simpler assembly process. All the pieces will just kind of fall into place. Okay, get everything nice and creased. And we're gonna begin by joining these two longer, larger pieces together. Okay, now you'll notice here, this is a tab and this is a main structural piece. This tab has a little hole in it so that we don't obstruct that little notch there. And that notch is made specifically for uh, the little location where we're gonna put the ears through. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our glue on this first tab here. It's a, a good one to start on since it's a little unique. I'm gonna spread that glue out. And I'm gonna do this flat because I have the opportunity to do so. Just make sure that you get that nice and aligned initially. And just push that down. Make sure that the vertical alignment is good as well. And then once you have it partially set on there, you can kind of flip it like that and kind of use both of them to gauge whether or not you've got it aligned properly. And it looks like I have done a perfect job getting that aligned because everything is pretty much right on top of, this piece is right on top of that other piece. There's nothing sticking out here or here. It's almost as if it was one solid piece. Okay, so that is nice and glued together. And we can go ahead and just begin gluing the rest of these together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this little tab here. Actually, there's a pretty big tab, relatively speaking. And just spread that glue out nice and thin out to the edge and just get that nice and lined up. And just squeeze the tab and that top piece of paper between your fingers there. Give it a few seconds to hold. And this will go nice and quick for us. Okay. On to the next one. Okay, nice little line right out to the edge. That I'm gonna take and just spread thin. It also helps, helps with the glue dry time. When you thin out the glue like that, it doesn't take as much time to hold and then it doesn't squirt out as much. So um, I know I've seen comments where people do that and um, someone has a, a few of you have like a damp rag that you hold nearby so you can just kind of scrape your finger off and get that glue off. Um, whatever works for you, I just kind of wipe it under the table because I don't, I don't mind. I'll go under there and clean it off someday if it ever builds up excessively. Okay. And the next piece here, now we're gonna leave the top open because we're gonna need the top open to get our ears in place. And we're actually gonna do that towards the end 
um, because we're not going to put the ears in place until after we put the little round panels on this piece. Okay, so just kind of moving down the row here. This thing's going together pretty quickly. Okay, spread that thin. And I didn't fold that piece there. This is why you fold those pieces. Okay, get that nice and lined up. There we go. Get your fingers in there. Make sure you squeeze every little inch there so that it gets a good hold. Okay, I'm gonna pull this piece out. I'm gonna pull all these back just a little bit. Okay, all right, so, so far so good. This is gonna be the front here. That's where his face is gonna be. Um, and and the ears are going to go there. Okay, so <clears throat> what we can do at this point is we can work this bottom section here and get that glued into place. So we'll begin by putting glue on this small little tab here. Don't need a lot. Make sure that you get it out to that edge and maybe pull these back so you can get your fingers in there better. And just make sure that you get it at the right angle just like that and just squeeze that in place. Make sure you get a good grip and a good hold. Okay, again, less is more when it comes to the glue. It dries a lot quicker, doesn't spill out. Don't need that much glue. Okay, just make sure you get the angle right. And just push and hold that down. <clears throat> there we go. All right, now there's a section here. We've got two tabs that we need to glue here. I'm gonna get this one glued first. Let's see that nice and clear on the camera there. Spread that glue out to the out to the edge. And let me get my finger under there. Just make sure that you get it aligned correctly. And just press and hold until that sets. All right. Moving on here, now back to the original section that we started working on. Get our glue on there. And just spread that out. Tuck it under. And just make sure you get it aligned correctly. Like that. And just squeezing between my, my middle finger and my thumb pushing that glue into the little fibers of the paper. There we go. Okay, move that out of the way. Got this tab here. Go ahead and get your glue on there. And get that aligned and in place. And just work your finger up and down that little area there, ensuring that every little inch of that has a good hold. Okay, so that leaves just this one here. Let me get our glue on that. And then we'll be almost at a point where we'll be ready to close this thing up and join the two sides together. And again, we're going to leave the uh, we're going to leave the top open, but we are going to put the bottom on it. The bottom's already attached, so that's going to make it's going to make the process 
even easier for us. Okay, so we'll get that out of the way. And all we're going to do to close this up is join these three tabs to the other side. And let's just start with this one tab here. This nice long tab. And get this in place. It'll kind of set the tone and anchor the rest of it for us so that it's nice and perfect. Okay, so just make sure that you get that nice and aligned. Just real gentle nudging. And there we go. Get your finger in there as far down as you can go, and then you can work your other finger up through the bottom. Should be able to touch pretty much every inch of that tab from either side. Ensure that that gets a good hold. Okay, now this piece here, you're going to want to you know, see now I didn't hold that in place long enough and I don't like how that came out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that up and I've showed this in some previous videos here. Just squirt out a little bit of glue. I have a tiny little strip of paper and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom of it so there's nothing on this side so I can easily rub that against my project and not worry about it. But then what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of glue underneath to the upper part of this piece here. Okay, and that's just to help get a little extra glue in there so that this seam is nice and clean. And I'm gonna be patient here and hold that down for a few extra seconds and really let that set because I am gonna be, and actually, you know what we can do while I'm holding that, I'm just gonna repeat that process for this little section here. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue on there and I can kind of flare this up a little bit just rub some glue underneath there and then you can push that down to glue it into place. So, and while that's setting, I'm going to do that again and I'm just going to spread a little bit of glue on the underside of this part here. It's okay if a little bit comes out because you can always wipe it clean. And then we're going to close that part up, just like that. As long as we're not moving this thing around too much, everything will stay in place. And you don't really need that much pressure to get it to eventually stick and hold. Um, adding the pressure will maybe make it dry quicker, but I didn't get enough glue on there. I'm going to try that one more time. And really enjoy parts like this because I can show you how to make your work really polished if you don't get your glue on there correctly the first time. There we go. Okay, now I'm just going to hold that in place and really let that set. And that looks perfect. What a nice little piece so far. You got it put together in a nice pristine manner. It's literally flawless. Okay, so with that being done, we can go ahead and I probably would give that a few extra seconds. We're going to close this up. Okay, I'm going to close the bottom up. That's going to keep this thing nice and sturdy for us when we go to put our panels on. So begin by adding a little bit of glue to the interior here on these tabs and then we're going to do a nice little thin line right near the perforation there and I'm going to spread that out with my finger and if we don't get it right and if it's not perfect we can always go in and clean it up by using that little method. I've kind of graduated from using a razor blade to just using a piece of paper to do it. It's uh, maybe not as thin, but everyone has scraps of paper. So I'm going to flare these out so that as I push this little hexagon down, 
It grabs more of that surface area. Okay, give it a give it a second or two to get its initial hold. Not too long. And then once it's partially set, just kind of start nudging the perimeter pieces underneath this main hexagon here until it looks per until it's pretty perfect there and everything's nice and in place. Okay. Now it's really starting to set, so it's really important that you get it in the right spot. All right, so that looks pretty good for the bottom. All right, we'll let that kind of just set. And we're not gonna close the top just yet because again, we gotta put our, put our little panels on and get our ears in there. Okay, so the panels here, we have one for every side. There's two special ones for the ears, okay? And what we're gonna do, I've got a 3 8 inch dowel here. What I wanna do is kinda just run that through the dowel just to kinda curve it a little bit. So I'm sandwiching it between the stick or the dowel and my finger and holding it straight here and just kind of running it straight across the paper while holding it down against the dowel to give it that curve. Okay, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna look kind of like that. And we're gonna glue that to the bottom and then that up to the top. We're gonna work our way around. But you wanna go ahead and just repeat that process to all the pieces. It's okay if they're not all the same as far as the curve. Eventually, when we get everything glued, um, they'll take on the intended shape. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just give it a little bit of a curve and we'll be in good shape. Now this piece here has some little notches cut into it. This is gonna be the face. We put those there to help you with the placement of Rudolph's facial features. Okay, so keep an eye out for the one panel. Well, obviously it's not these two. That's where the ears go. So out of these remaining four, find the one that has just some random notches cut into it. That is gonna be the face, okay? <clears throat> so let's grab this piece here and let's begin putting our little panels on, okay? Um, may as well start with, well, I'll tell you what, let's start on the back just to get our feet wet because as you do this more, you'll get better at it, okay? Now the idea is to make sure that it's nice and centered and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put glue on the very top here. Maybe just that much glue right at the top, okay? And get that right up against where that score mark is. Make sure that you have it centered. So kind of run your finger up here, okay? And just push and hold that down until it's set. Okay, make sure that you've got it nice and centered as best as you can. All right, that should be pretty set. And then we're gonna glue the bottom down like that. Okay, so we can pull this back a tiny little bit. Let's just put, well, we can just put the glue on the underside of this panel here. Okay, I'm gonna spread that out. And as you're putting it on, just make sure that it's nice and centered and try to get it nice and flush with the very bottom if possible. Okay, and just hold that in place until it's set. And it should pretty much line up with the bottom perfectly. Okay, so that one's in place and as you can see, you've got a nice round effect achieved instead of this boxy look. And that's what we want. Okay, so keep in mind again, we're gonna save the face for last. We're gonna do that last because um, we'll have a lot more experience and we'll do a lot better job. Okay, so go ahead and put glue on the next piece here. Thin it out. Make sure you get that glue all the way up to the top there. And again, just get that nice and aligned with the very top 
butt it up against that little score mark area and also make sure that you have it centered. Okay. Make sure you got it nice and centered and just hold that in place. And then we're going to glue the bottom down as well. Okay, so let's grab our third little panel here. And again, let's, let's get this anchored first. I'm going to show you one additional little tip here to make this look even more seamless and round. Once we get these anchored, you don't want to do it just yet because <clears throat> it helps to have them all in place before we take this next step. So bear with me here just a sec. Let's get this one in place, make sure it's nice and centered, and then let's pull that down to the bottom. So peel this back just a tad. And it's up to you how precise and accurate you want to get with your assembly as far as the roundness goes. But I'm going to show you how to make it as round as possible here. So I'm just going to place my thumb on that down there and make sure that that gets a nice hold. What you can do if you want, by adding um, a little bit of glue to this section here at this point, you'll see that it kind of closes closes this up and doesn't leave these little gaps here. So let me show you what I would do. Uh, grab my little strip of paper, okay, and just put a little bit of glue on one side and literally just shove it under there, okay, and just get some glue on there and then just push that down. Just right there, right in that middle spot. And just kind of hold that in place and let that set. You want to do it on, on all the sides here. Okay, so while I'm holding that, let me get a little more glue on that little strip. Okay, and I'm going to pop it right under here. And just glue that down. Wipe off any excess and just push and hold that down. So you see how that kind of makes it look a little more polished. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of continue this down the row here. Just pop it right under there. Might be a little bit too much sticking up there. Get it right under, right along the edge there. And just push that down and hold that in place. And that just makes it look a little more seamless. Okay. It's totally optional, but it does make it appear more, almost looks like a, like an onion actually at this point. It's cute though. We've got two more panels here. One that's going to go here for the ear, the other one for the ear and the front. So let's just kind of continue our little process here. Getting our glue on our panel. Now with these, with these two pieces here, just want to make sure that you're aligning it so that the hole for the ear, you're not obstructing it. Okay, so just make sure that you've got that in the right spot. Hold that down, let that partially set. I think that's enough time. Open that up a little bit at the bottom. Get your glue on the bottom. I'm going to spread that thin. Let me dab it a little bit and just get it right down to the bottom there. And just keep your thumb on that. Let that set nicely. Okay. And again, you can go ahead and put glue. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Get a little bit of glue on my little paper strip, slide it under right here. And you can push that down. 
And we'll do the same to this piece after it really sets. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the other side with the little cutout for the ear. And we'll get that in place. Okay, so we're just gonna align that to the top and just make sure that we're not obstructing the hole for the ear on the main structure. And we're gonna press and squeeze that until it sets correctly. All right. And then we can go ahead and get our glue on the bottom. Spread that out nicely and get it nice and aligned with the bottom there. There we go. Just make sure that you can see that that slit all the way through for the ears. Okay, and that just leaves the front, and that's going to go on like that. Okay, that should be enough time for it. All right, so let's wrap up the panels. Okay, nice and flush with the top. Make sure it's centered. That is where our face is going to go. Okay, I think I've pretty much got that. Now, just put our glue on the bottom. It's pretty repetitive, but I'm going to walk you through every little step here. So every little step is magic. Okay. And just hold that down and let it set. Okay. All right, now looking at the front, as I mentioned before, we can go in and add a little bit of glue to these little sections here to push them down a little more and just make them look a little more seamless. So again, I'm just putting a little bit of glue. I'm gonna cut a fresh little, fresh little strip here of paper. Just a nice long little strip. Okay, and I'm just kind of dabbing one side of it into the glue. I'm gonna slide it under, and then push up to get that glue right along that edge there and just push and hold that in place just gently you don't want to push too hard just enough to where it's getting pressure okay and i'm going to do the same thing to this side here so I'll grab my little strip put a little bit of glue on one side just make sure you don't get it on both sides because then you can literally you can run that on there and don't have to worry about getting glue anywhere but where you need it. Okay. Just like that. And just hold those two sides down. And wherever you see fit, wherever you think you could add a little bit of glue to get that panel to, to sit more nicely so everything looks more connected, feel free to do that. And you don't have to. I, I'm just being a perfectionist at this point and I want everything to look really clean which is you know it's hard to make round looking things out of paper but we're doing a really good job of it if I do say so myself so and you can do it too okay that looks good to me okay all right so uh, the next step at this point is going to be to put the ears in Okay, so let's do that. Let me, let me get the ears here. We've got two parts to the ears, the outer and inner part of the ear. And we wanna make sure that we glue these correctly. Okay, so we've got the, the inner part and the outer part. Um, what we're gonna do, let me clean off this glue nozzle.
Okay, so you've got two ears here, one left, one right. And these pieces here are gonna get glued like so. So this little flat edge here, okay, that's gonna butt up almost to the, you don't wanna go over the score mark, but pretty much right next to it. Okay, so that's gonna get glued down like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. Just throw a little bit of glue on the back of it. Okay, and get that nice and centered to the best of your ability. Just like that, just right along that little score mark. Okay. And same thing for the other side. We get the, get the little ears in place and we can put the top on. And we're pretty much on the home stretch here. Okay, just make sure that it's got a nice even border going all the way around on the ear. Okay. All right, so we can go ahead and glue the ears in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shove that through and then we're gonna push, the tab is gonna go inward like this. Okay, so I think the best way to do this, because it's gonna be a little, well, you could do it either way. As long as you get your glue on there and spread it really thin, you can put it on first and then slide it through Okay, and then use your finger on the inside to hold it to the inside of this piece here. Just like that. So the tab's going in this direction. And just make sure that, and you can actually squeeze it like that. Okay, so there's your, there's your ear on that side. Again, it's totally fine to do that as long as you thin that glue out before you slide it through. If you got a giant glob of glue on your little tab, then you're in for uh, a possible glue disaster. Okay, I'm just gonna fold that over, get that all the way in, and just stick my finger in there and get that tab glued to the inside. So the tab is gonna be on this panel here on the inside. Okay, so there's our cute little ears. And since we're done getting our fingers in there and this thing's all glued up, we can go ahead and close the top. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just put glue on all these tabs here. And try to get it out to the edge as best as you can. I'm gonna dab that a little bit, thin it out. Okay, and just go ahead and close it up. Okay, so I've got the, the top on here nicely. And what we can go ahead and do is put our little antlers on um, so what we want to do is grab our antlers and you'll notice that there's a little scored area. Okay. So you want to fold both of these. What we're going to do is we're going to glue these back to back like this. And then we're going to take this and glue this to the top of our little Rudolph. So go ahead and get your glue on the back of these antlers. Okay. And you can put it down on your table. And just kind of match them up like this initially. And just kind of squeeze those together. Just don't put any glue on these. You don't want these to connect. Those are going to be flat and they're going to connect onto the, the top of our little ornaments. Okay, so let that really get a nice hold. Okay, and then you can go ahead and put glue on the bottom of this. And we're gonna glue that right to the top of our ornament. 
I'm gonna thin that out and spread it out all the way around this thing. Okay, and just make sure that the antlers are facing forward, obviously, like so. And just pop that right on top. Okay, be patient while that sets. Okay, and at this point, we're gonna begin decorating his face and give him a, giving him a cute little bow tie. And uh, yeah, we're basically on the final, final stretch here. Okay, so again, because we were following directions and taking our time, we've got the panel with the little cutouts um, on the front here. So that's gonna make for uh, a lot easier time when it comes to getting all this stuff aligned here. His little, um, his little hair piece here is going to get glued right to the very top like this should be pretty much flush with the top. Okay. So there's a little bit of this that kind of hangs off either side. So just don't place your glue too far off from the center. Okay. Just like that is pretty good. Okay. And then get that nice and aligned like that. Just make sure you get it nice and centered there. That's cute. Okay, and we have a we have a nose here. There's a white and a red section. Of course, his nose is red. We're gonna glue this red section to the white section. Just get a little bit of glue on the back of the whites or on the back of the red. This is a red foil and glue that into place. Really made his nose stand out, which is appropriate. Okay. And then just go ahead and pop a little bit of glue on the back of the nose and take a look at your, uh, your little piece here. You want to go ahead and make sure that that is lined up. There's a little, little notch right there. And then there's also a little notch below it at the center of the tip of the nose there. Okay. So that's going to help you with the alignment on that. And then, um, the rest of the notches here are for his little mouth. Okay, so his mouth is gonna go right there like that. I'm gonna grab my pick-me-up tool for this. It's a really thin little piece. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put little dots of glue, little tiny ones on the mouth. And up here, I'm just gonna dab that Flatten it out. Probably do that throughout the whole little mouthpiece. Okay. And just make sure that the little U shapes on the mouth line up with those little notches like that. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, so that just leaves our eyeballs here and his little bow tie. So again, I'm gonna grab my pick-me-up tool and I'm just gonna get a little bit of glue on the back of the eyeball. He has really, really beautiful little eyelashes here. Okay. So the placement of the eyes, just make sure that they're uh, on the same plane. Okay. And 
Um, use the, the center of the nose as kind of a guide as to where you're positioning it. There's no little cutouts for that. But that's okay. You should be able to get it. Okay, just like that. Grab my other one. A little bit of glue. It's a pretty little, the little eyelashes are a pretty intricate cut. Um, this was cut on a Sizzix Eclipse. If you're using a Cricut, you probably want to use the cardstock intricate setting with your dial on custom. Okay, and there we go. Pretty little eyeballs. I'm going to put the little whites of his eyes in with some liquid pearls. Okay, so that's looking cute. And then if you want, um, what I might suggest doing is throwing a little bit of glue on a little strip of paper, just like we've done a couple times here already. Just throw a little bit of glue under these, under these two sections here and push them down. Okay, so there is Rudolph. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I've got some white um, liquid pearl that I'm gonna put on the centers of the eyes and now the bottom of the mouth. I didn't get enough glue on that. So I'm just gonna put this right under there and just get a little extra glue, the bottom of the mouth there and just push and hold that down until it adheres nicely. And um, just have to put the bow together. I'm gonna put some rhinestones on his antlers. Um, and we'll put a couple rhinestones on his bow. But aside from that, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and put the bow together. Here is the main piece of the bow. This is kind of a thicker cardstock. What you want to do to make it round is just run it through your dowel, okay, like so. And do the other side as well to make it round. You don't want to fold it because it's just going to end up creasing and then it won't look very bow-like, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of glue here in the center and take that square part and glue it to the other inner square part there. And just hold that, really give it a chance to set. I'm really squeezing it. Okay, get your glue Put some more glue on that little square part in the center and glue this part down. And just hold and squeeze until that's set. Mm. Okay, and there's the beginnings of our little bow there. If you feel like you didn't get enough, you see how that's kind of pulling away there. This side is okay, that other side is not. I just wasn't patient enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip a little extra glue in there from the inside. And I'm gonna be more patient this time and just hold that between my fingers to make sure that that really sets. Okay, so all that's really left to do then for the bow, this part is pretty self-explanatory. Um, we're gonna take that, I'm gonna take this piece here and we're gonna wrap it around the center of our bow. So what you want to do is just kind of put it right in the center and then just fold it. I don't think there's no score lines on this. You don't really need them. Okay. It's going to be folded like that. And then we can close it up by putting a little bit of glue on the back of that. And just folding it over and holding that in place. It's kind of cuter if it's a little loose. If it's too tight, it's not as dimensional. So don't push too hard, just hold it and let it set. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so that is cute. And now kind of flare, flare it out one way or the other so it's a little more flat on the back. Put a little dot of glue on the back, spread it thin, or dab it, smear it, whatever. And take this piece 
and pop that right on the back. You got nice little tails for your bow. Should look something like that. There we go. Okay. And we're going to just adhere that right to the bottom there, like so. Okay, so I'm going to grab a little foam square and put that on the back. Peel it off. And just, that was actually a little bit too high. It's going to be visible. We don't want it to be visible. So we're going to, we're going to put that foam square down lower so it's not visible from the top. You're not going to see it back here, but you may see it from the top. So move that foam square or pop dot down a little bit so you don't see it. There we go. Okay, and just, just below the mouth is good. There we go. Okay, so Rudolph is pretty much done. We're gonna go ahead and put a little rhinestone on here. Um, maybe two little red rhinestones. You're gonna put your, put your cord through the top. You know, add whatever other embellishments you wanna add. And your ornament is all ready to go. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.